Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let us play some Victoria 2 as the Ottoman Empire with uh, with HFM. Last we left off, we're in the year 1880. We are researching um, phenomenology and hermeneutics. We have increasing literacy. It's actually increasing quite fast, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's see. Our administrative and intellectual budgets are really high. We're turning up some more soldiers. I think we're going to reorganize our armies a little bit. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to swap out these. So most of the sacks are supposed to be 515. I think I'm going to swap out the, um, the cavalry for Hussars, though. So let's just build up a crap ton of Hussars in Europe, I think. Probably is good. <clears throat> And um, we currently have most of our national foci on soldiers. The more soldiers we have, the stronger we're going to appear. So, um, let's see. Let's do that. No cav there. Where's the cav? Over here. Is there a hotkey for this? There is no hotkey for disband units, which is interesting. Um, I'm going to move you over here. Let's see. We're on speed four right now. Apparently, Greece. So Greece is in our sphere, but apparently they, huh? Okay, so we have the um, the African wars and colonization. Looks like most of the great powers have declared wars for for colonization here. You know what we also need to do? I think we need to get engineers for every single stack. So we should also we should also focus on that. Right now, we're, yeah, we're prioritizing. Let's see, soldiers, four percent. I think. Yeah, it's interesting. I think the cap in normal Victoria 2 for soldiers per state is 4% from a particular state. But I think in HFM, if I, if I recall correctly, I believe it's 5. We actually probably need to reorganize these forces a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I could get a couple infantry and such over there. Let me take a look here. Let me send this engineer up here. We have a couple stacks here in Egypt. Let's see, we have a socialist party in power. We are trying to become a constitutional monarchy so we can reform the uh, the Ottoman Empire and get some more accepted cultures, which would be pretty nice. Yeah, so Karasia, so we send the uh, manpower back to the manpower pools. Well, in the Near East, what do we need for these, these couple armies up here? I think we need more. We need like two, like three arty. No. Um, I think it's one in the Near East. Uh, we do need a couple of Asars here in Africa. Okay, I think that should do it for now. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so we're just going to be kind of at peace for a while. Um, tax income's doing looking pretty good. We have um, okay relations with mostly everybody. The French Republic is going through some sort of revolution at the moment. Um, let's see. The die has been cast. Yeah, so we're doing we're doing pretty good on everything. Um, infrastructure is looking pretty good. I just want to keep improving my relations with the UK and that sort of thing. Um, actually, really good relations. Let's get some better relations with the Russians, I guess. Keep them off our backs. He actually he actually had a revolution and he went back to being um an absolute monarchy. He has better military tech than we do, and he also has way more regiments. So we should watch out for that. Um, just gotta be cautious. Just got to be cautious. We have annexed Moldavia and Wallachia. Um, maybe eventually, honestly, if I actually really wanted to. As long as I took... Let's see. As long as I took Serbia out of... We have pretty decent relations with him, actually. We, so we could, we could remove Serbia from our sphere and attack him. Try to fully annex him. I don't really find the usefulness in doing that. But we could do it. Um... The same thing kind of with Montenegro. We don't really have to, but we could if we wanted to. Um, so a lot of these guys, these are dependencies on the Germans. Serbia is really the only place that's not... Um, it's in our sphere, so it technically is a dependency of ours. But, you know. Let's see, can we upgrade any factories? Let's go and do that. So we actually have a, a pretty nice socialist party in power. Protection of state capitalism, pluralism, full citizenship, pro-military, and then a full welfare state. We don't have any welfare policies actually enacted. So it's not actually costing us that much. Montenegro. Greek Uprising, we fight them here. 
yeah so we could build more factories i mean um literacy is going up our military strength is going up things are looking pretty good <laughs> we're quite stable all things considered uh we could also maybe annex greece at some point we have no infamy so i mean we could let's see armenian officers Armenian officers in constantinople hmm Let's make sure we take a look at these are Hussars. So Hussars have the reason why you want Hussars is they have the most recon. The Sars have the most recon. Um they have two recon per unit. And reconnaissance helps you with moving around, but also helps you with sieges. So they're pretty nice to have. Uh let's see. Let's get you there. So, um, See, the Tangiers Protocols fails. Uh, let's see. In 1881, the great powers of Europe assembled together to decide the fate of Morocco and its sultan with the Tangier Protocol. Um, negotiations broke down. No consensus could be reached. Hmm. Is there a war? I don't think so. I think there's a, there could be, though. There's Spanish Morocco here. The German Confederation owns, like, core Morocco right there. Let's see. Red Winds. A red wind seems to have taken a tour de force through the upper house lately as more and more of parliament have expressed their willingness to cooperate with and support the ruling socialist party. <clears throat> so we can piss off socialists or we can try and go more toward the socialist tide. Sure. Why don't we go towards the socialist tide? Um, what do voters want? What type of policies? Acceptable school system. So that helps us out with literacy, which is fine. I actually would prefer to move towards a constitutional monarchy. Um, liberals want to enact further political reforms. So actually, it would be in our favor to kind of go more liberal because they would support more political reforms, but may back social reforms under conditions of high militancy. The socialists want to see social reforms and not necessarily... Um, Yeah, see, the people here, they want wealth voting, but we, the socialists more want to push through... Um. An acceptable school system. So we're going to focus on literacy gain for the acceptable school system. You're going to see this is going to jump up here. Yeah, I mean, you know, our, our literacy increases quite quickly. 0 0.1084 per month. There we go. Yeah, so point. Okay, so now it's 0 0.11 per month. So pretty much in a calendar year, in 12 months, we increase like 1.3, 1 1.4 ish percent. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, so I think we need two over here. Okay. Uh, I think I need one more. This guy, you come over. And then you guys, you come over here. I think it's this stack that needs... No, you have enough artillery. Um... Pull you. Oh no! Wait a minute. Yeah, you actually you do need more infantry and artillery because they have an engineer, but that doesn't count as artillery. You also do need um cavalry there. Okay, so we have more SARS that we could train up, mostly in the European provinces. Let's get our armies all together. Move you to Gallipoli. Okay, so you've got your cav. You've got your cav. We do need engineers. For actually a lot of these stacks. Engineers help with dig in. Uh let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, so you two you have you have them. You guys are moving towards that stack. You can use more engineers over here. Um This stack is under strength. We need more artillery. Rally points are in Constantinople, Baghdad, and Cairo. Okay, so for here, we could use more artillery. Um, why do we have so much artillery here? Yeah, so you've got five, you've got five. <laughs> they should be like 36 stacks with a 515, so five infantry, one SR, five cavalry. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We need like five engineers here. Let's 
So, I mean, I have to make it could be a little annoying trying to organize all these armies and stuff. Sometimes, um, let's move some troops. Let's see, Ottoman Thessalia, Northern Macedonia. Sure, steel mills, why not? <clears throat> okay, so the Brits reward somebody the acquisition of British Matabelli. Okay. Let's see, we have no tariffs right now. We have pretty decent tax income. Everybody's happy for the most part. Um, we could subsidize imports, but for now, I think just having a little bit of a war chest is fine. We could also build, I think we do have to upgrade forts like around the empire. Just fortify everything. Um, it does it does kind of expand the economy because you're, you're buying up your own goods domestically. Increases your need for steel, that sort of thing. It's an expensive endeavor, though. Okay, yeah, so after, after we finish uh, Phenomology and Hermeneutics, we may go for... We could go for Social Sciences. Um, could get some of these Prestige Techs. Doesn't really matter. I'll take the Prestige. <clears throat> we could finish up these Commercial Techs. Probably not a bad idea. Um, I definitely do want, I think, some of these Industrial Techs. A lot of these were unlocked quite a while ago, so... We can finish those up pretty fast. Um, let's see, Montenegro. We actually we generate influence Montenegro quite fast. Let's see. So what's going on here? So we have. You could actually use one more RDE. Okay, so the Russians are doing stuff to us. Um, Algeria wants an alliance. So the French are not allied with anybody. They're a secondary power. Uh, they're not protected by anybody. Algeria is a presidential dictatorship. <clears throat> He's in our sphere. So what I could do is attack France on my own. The thing is, is he's got really, really good military tech. He's just, he's in, he barely has any regiments, but he's got really, really good military tech. So, if we were to attack for, say, Algeria, I mean, he's got a strong navy and a strong army that we definitely cannot compete with. So, unfortunately, we have an immigration push now because, um, Sunnis nationalists. So the stacks are, yeah, the stacks are going to be with 515, the stacks end up being 36, um, or 33,000. And then if you add an engineer, they end up being 36. It'd be 516 because the engineers count for technically, um, they count as artillery. So kind of interesting there. Make a lot of money. Yeah, we don't want to lose prestige here. Um, I'd like to help out my people, but we can't appear weak in the face of of other powers. Let's see, what do we produce? We produce, uh, let's see, grain, lumber, wood, wool, and fruit. We export most of that, grain, cotton, and lumber. We import regular clothes, liquor, and tea. So, ideally, we would like to produce these, these goods that we're importing, really, regular clothes, tea, and liquor. Mm, I do wonder about that. Let's see, RGO. So, what do we need um, for textiles? We need... I don't actually know if we produce that much cloth. This is wool. Uh, no, we need cotton and dye. Do we produce cotton? In some places, but not in, not in our states. So we actually only produce cotton here in Varna. All places. Let's actually go ahead and let's let's get um, let's see a clothes factory. 
Okay, let's do maybe a luxury clothes factory. We also do import liquor. Um, liquor, we need fruit, glasses, and cotton. Where do we produce the most cotton? Or uh, the most grain? Versus, not bad. Uh, definitely also in Cairo. Wow, they produce quite a bit. The only thing is, is Cairo is technically still a colonial state, so we can't we can't make it into a state. Yeah, let's do a liquor, dis liquor distillery here in Bursa. I'm also going to build over, uh, build a glass factory. Let's do a glass factory. Fruit. No, we should be able to get enough fruit. We need coal for that. Liquor distillery. We have enough grain. We have enough glass. Cannery. No, I don't need it necessarily. Tea. Not much I can do about the tea. Because we don't produce tea here. Um, who produces tea? No, oh, that's opium. Uh, it's tobacco. There we go, tea. So, a lot of the Indian... A lot of the Indian and Chinese provinces produce tea. Let's finish up these commercial texts, I think. <clears throat> and then we'll go for some more. Um, we'll go for some industrial texts. So I think you guys are going out this way. Yeah. No, let's grab you. Uh, you guys got to go to here. You could use also some calf. Didn't I produce SARS somewhere? Who else doesn't have calf? Shit, none of these armies have calf. Yeah, so let's send you there. I'll send you here. Let's take a look at one Hussar and Alexandria. <clears throat> We're still, um, yeah, I'm encouraging quite a few soldiers. Okay, so then you guys, you guys need, I think everybody with 33 needs an engineer. So you can just press the S tab to split these guys. Just kind of makes it a little easier. To get everybody where they need to go. So this is, um, we can actually probably get rid of this Navy. I, I do want to go for some naval techs. I want to get some capital ships and stuff. It's a really, really, really fast way. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Uh, the main navy's over here. The ironclads. These guys are okay. They're not great, but they'll do the job. Okay, so all these forces are pretty much good to go. We do need one Hussar from Europe. Am I producing any more? Uh, in Alexandria. Could use one over here. Belgium. Let's keep relations with the Russians. You never know when he might want to go to war or something. The Germans like us. The French. Like I said, I'd like to attack the French for Algeria. Um. Let's see. Free people, liberated country for its oppressors. Liberated country, liberated entire country for its oppressors. I believe this one. Let's see, cut down to size. We could do place in the sun. Place in the sun would get me... Because I don't think these... Yeah, so these are... Well, actually, he's made some of these into states. Oh, no, they still are colonial provinces. Okay. So the French... The French do, of course, her, though, which is kind of interesting. So I could go to war with him. I could ask the Germans to um, assist me as well. So the French... Has he gone for Indochina? He actually did take Indochina. He's also got Madagascar. Um, these armies aren't ready. So this is 515, so we need engineers over here. I'll keep you guys. I'll keep you guys here. We do need a SAR. We're getting a SAR in Alexandria. You know what? Let's send over, let's send over some of these European stacks. Um, should be a really quick war. I, I don't want to call in the Germans. I mean, I could. How does, how does he feel? The Germans definitely dislike France, so I could call them in if I had to. 
Um, he's got a really good navy and he's got really good military attacks. I don't know. I mean, I, I have a concern about trying to go to war with him. I could ask the Germans to help me out, though. I think if I did a liberate country, we can probably get all of Algeria back for Algiers. That'd be pretty nice. And then Algeria is in our sphere. Um, we could fully annex him. He Well, he is a civilized nation, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to fully annex him. So there's Serbia. Yeah, we have quite a few soldiers running around the place. Okay. Persia is still in our sphere. So this is our sphere of influence. We don't own it directly, but that's okay. Um, we we if I really wanted to, we probably could own some of this directly. So in particular, we could probably attack. Um, for Al Rashid and the Najd. If I wanted to remove them from my sphere, it cost me ten prestige and one infamy to do that. And then we just we just declare a war and annex them. You know, it's it's um. Let's make sure the UK aren't friendly with uh, with anybody. Yeah, so I mean, we we could do that. It it doesn't benefit us a lot. The thing is, is eventually these guys will have oil, which could come in handy. Let's see who's this. This is a Sar. We need you up here, I think. Okay, so you've got Cav. You've got Cav. You need engineers, though. I think, do all of you guys need engineers? No, just, just two. <clears throat> Let's actually take a look. Let's take a look at the culture map mode. Um, let's go to... Yeah, uh, Sudan. So we really don't have a lot of Turkish pops over here. What we do want to do, though, is we want to go for um, this. This would get me... Yeah, I have a constitutional monarchy and political rights is all out rights. Yeah, that would get me um, Albanian, Bosniak, Misri, and Mashriki as accepted cultures. We do need that. I'm going to suppress some of these movements. Um, let me suppress these movements to try and encourage them to get more radical. We could do that. Ottoman Communists. Anatolian Labor Movement. Minimum Wage Movement. I could also, in theory, pick a different party. Um, for example, this one's not bad. Free Trade, Laissez-Faire, Moralism, Limited Citizenship, Jingoism. It's a testament for cost C. That's full citizenship, but pacifism. Full military, full citizenship. This is pluralism. So we could we could swap parties. Um let's see, full citizenship, full citizenship. That's anti-military, full welfare state. So we can actually subset as imports now. We're still doing just fine. Um I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind actually taxing the rich. Wow, we do make a lot of money from the middle class though. I'd like to reduce the effective tax on the middle class, probably. That'd be nice. Okay, so these factories here in Wallachia are doing pretty good. And then we're finishing up these factories here in Bulgaria. <sighs> Communist propaganda. Uh, what's going on? The French want to ask us crisis of liberation to Guyana? Yeah, I don't think so, France. Yeah, we could probably just attack this guy. I'm thinking we we just do. To my knowledge, he's not protected by anybody. He's got a couple allies, but nothing major. He's got really good military attack. I think what I think the the free country, the liberate country, um, or every country, either as a puppet or a substate, or as the Ottoman Empire sphere of influence. As number of states, two. I think free people is only one state. No, I don't know.
I'm pretty sure liberate... I'm pretty sure liberate country is like we demand from the French that they give everything back to the Algerians. I'm like 95% sure that's what that's supposed to be. Damn, we did take a hit there. I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. So the people want... Let's see. Voters, full citizenship. Uh, wealth voting. Pacifism. I don't know. This would increase our... This one increased our transportation to our colonies. That's not a bad idea. It doesn't say how much this reform will increase colonial migration. Increases the load on the bureaucracy. I like good school system because it gets this literacy, so I'm just going to go and take that. Jesus Christ, that literacy gain is awesome. So as you can see, micromanaging armies is actually kind of annoying in this game. Um, so you guys all have troops. Where was I going to send this force then? Yeah, where the hell is this SAR supposed to go? You guys, you guys have your SARS and stuff, right? Oh shit. Yeah, I don't mind protectionism. That's fine. You don't need it, but... It doesn't hurt to have protectionism available to us. I think... Wait, do you need some? Yeah, you could you could use it. Okay, so we'll send you back to the men power pool. We'll send you over here. Now we're going to reorganize a couple of these armies here. You guys definitely need to be organized. <clears throat> okay, so we can attack the French soon. Okay. All right. Well, let's take right here, guys. We'll be attacking the French for Algeria. Or at least we're going to give all this back to Algeria um, in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.